In this video, I'm going to be discussing degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now, parts of a degree can be measured with minutes and with seconds. A degree can be divided into 60 equal parts called minutes that are denoted with the prime symbol, and one degree equals 60 minutes. A minute can be divided into 60 equal parts called seconds, denoted by double prime, and one minute equals 60 seconds. And now I'm going to have to complete these two calculations involving degrees and minutes. So in the first one, I need to add 24 degrees 41 minutes and 61 degrees 48 minutes. The best way to do this is to line things up vertically. So I have 24 degrees 41 minutes, and then I'm going to add to that 61 degrees 48 minutes. Then I just add vertically. 1 and 8 is 9. 4 and 4 is 8. 4 and 1 is 5. 2 and 6 is 8. So I land up with 85 degrees 89 minutes. But we cannot leave 89 minutes in the answer. You cannot have the number of minutes being 60 or above. So what I'm going to have to do is subtract 60 minutes from my 89 minutes. So I'm going to have 85 degrees plus 60 minutes. And what's 89 minus 60? It's going to be 29 minutes. But remember, 60 minutes is 1 degree. So I have 85 degrees plus, instead of 60 minutes, I'm going to write 1 degree plus 29 minutes. And now you can add 85 degrees and 1 degree to get 86 degrees. 29 minutes and that's the answer to part a in part b i'm going to do 90 degrees minus 52 degrees 39 minutes so i'm going to have problems with this one because i have 39 minutes but i don't have any minutes on the 90 degrees to subtract it from so i'm going to have to borrow one degree from my 90 degrees so 90 minus 1 is 89 degrees. So I'm just going to write 90 degrees as 89 degrees plus 1 degree minus my 52 degrees 39 minutes. But now 1 degree is 60 minutes, so I can write this as 89 degrees 60 minutes. And now I'm going to work vertically minus 52 degrees, 39 minutes. So now I have 60 minutes minus 39 minutes, which is 21 minutes, and 89 degrees minus 52 degrees, which is 37 degrees. So my answer is 37 degrees, 21 minutes. Now in working out both of these problems, I wrote every single step to explain what I was doing, but you don't need to. You can often go directly from here to here and from here to here.